Service Dog Breeds Guiding the Blind. According to the World Health Organization, there are an estimated 39 million people that are blind worldwide. Of that, an estimated 1.5 million children under the age of 15 are irreversibly blind. Throughout human history, when man had a need, there's been a dog there to offer a solution. In many cases, guide dogs offer a life-changing experience for the sightless among us. I was 18, um, and that was probably my first kind of um, voyage of independence. You know a seeing eye dog when you see him. Of all the service dogs, the seeing eye dog or the guide dog is probably the most prevalent in the modern lexicon. The guide dog has been a benchmark for service dogs of all types since the foundation of the Seeing Eye School in Nashville, Tennessee in 1929. Since then, a number of breeds have risen to the top of the class. Let's have a look at them. Hi, I'm Leroy. And I'm Rosie. And this is Animal Facts. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Here's a trivia question. How much money does it take to breed, train, and support a guide dog throughout his working life? See how you do by commenting below, and we'll give you the answer later in this video. We'll get to the top guide dog breeds in a moment, but first, let's look at how a service dog helps his handler maintain independence despite losing one of our most treasured senses. Studies show owning a pet or therapy dog offer many positive effects. The guide dog especially comes with a variety of benefits and helps in many ways. He gives a blind person more confidence, friendship, and security. Blind people who use service animals have increased confidence in going about day-to-day -day life and are comforted by a constant, consistent friend. Companionship offered by a service dog helps reduce anxiety, depression, and loneliness. Guide dogs make it easier to get around. As a result, people are more willing to go places and feel a sense of independence. Meeting new people and socializing is easier, and people are more likely to offer a blind person help when there is a service animal present. As a bonus, the animals may also lead to increased interaction with other people. Guide dogs make the experience of the unknown more relaxing. Owners of guide dogs share a special bond with their animal. Many report that the dog is a member of their family and go to their guide for comfort and support. To them, the dog isn't seen as a working animal, but more as a loyal friend. Sammy and I own Sephiroth now. Um, we do everything together, and even if I'm away from her too long, she just knows if I'm upset, she comes over to me and sticks her nose in my face. <laughs> now let's get to our top five service dog breeds, Guiding the Blind. Number one, Labrador Retriever. Across the range of service dogs, the Labrador has emerged as the top contender for most service dog jobs. A Labrador Retriever is a highly versatile dog with the smarts and curiosity to do a wide variety of things. He is hardworking with an extraordinary intelligence that makes him a good candidate for training. A Lab is also known for his friendliness and sociability. The Labrador sticks close and remains loyal, but doesn't have the protective instinct of many other breeds that can make it risky to take them into public places. In fact, he is friendly with everyone, including strangers, children, and other animals. As with all service dogs, it is important to remember that these guide dogs are working animals and shouldn't be distracted while they are working. You have to remember that no matter how cute and friendly a service dog is, that there is a human being whose life literally depends on him remaining focused. Number 2. Golden Retriever Like the lab, the Golden Retriever is also highly intelligent and easy to train for a wide variety of commands and tasks. He is particularly obedient. He enjoys having a job, and he loves completing challenges. He is also noted for getting along well with children and other animals. An attribute that is often cited as making the Golden Retriever stand out from the pack is his outstanding ability to tune into the needs of his two-legged companion, correcting his guiding style to accommodate even the slightest discomfort, such as his hand were flinching when rubbing against a branch. But the dog saw the bus, and sensing danger, Figo's protective instincts kicked in. And this dog literally jumped in front of a bus for his owner. What traits are we looking for in a guide dog? A guide dog must remain focused on his task, must be intelligent and obey commands, must be large enough to lead his companion while wearing the harness, and should ideally fit comfortably on public transportation and beneath tables in restaurants. 
and must be healthy with enough stamina to do his job. All this while remaining social and friendly. Number three, Goldador. The Goldador is a Golden Retriever Labrador mix. He is currently one of the most used breeds for guide dog work. If you have one great dog and mix it with another great dog, chances are you'll get an even greater dog. And in the case of the Goldador, that's exactly what you get. According to the UK-based Guide Dogs for the Blind Association, historically, the Golden Retriever crossed with the Labrador has produced the most successful guide dogs of all, combining many of the great traits of both breeds. Number 4. German Shepherd Dog Originally, guide dogs were primarily German Shepherds. They were selected because they were widely available after World War I, they were being very well bred to work, could work very long hours, were easy to train, and were good at working out problems or situations for which they were not trained. Later, most programs switched to Labrador Retrievers because the German Shepherds were not suited for many clients. Shepherds require confident owners with some skill at training and handling dogs. This is not to say he's still not in use. He is still one of the most highly intelligent breeds around, and for the right person, is one of the best breeds for the job of a guide dog. Here's the answer to your trivia question. It cost around $64,000 US dollars to breed, train, and support a guide dog throughout the working life of these highly trained dogs, according to the Guide Dogs for the Blind Association. It could take up to two years of training for each dog, says the Guide Dogs of America. Number 5. Labrador We're quite fond of the Labradoodle. You take all the great qualities that make the Lab an excellent service dog, add the intelligence and hypoallergenic nature of the Poodle, and you get an A-class guide dog that won't lead a sightless companion with watery eyes and sneezing fits. Originally developed to be hypoallergenic guide dogs, the first planned crosses of Poodles and Labrador Retrievers were arranged by the Royal Guide Dogs Association of Australia. The result was a smart and sociable dog who not only possessed a nature appropriate for a guide dog, but also had a low shedding coat. Why is he down here at number 5? As a hybrid, the breed has not yet achieved consistent results in coat or temperament, but he's getting there. In the future, it's highly likely that he'll become the de facto guide dog. We'd like to invite you over to our Patreon page. While this is fun for us, it's become my full-time job, and YouTube ads just don't quite cut it. So, um, so any pledge will help a lot. Thank you. Who you got there? Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Well, that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.